Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with the collab. I love doing collabs as you know. And today I'm doing a face-off and this face-off concept is created by Danielle Schmidt. I will leave her up here in the corner and also down in the description. And the person I'm collabing with today is a fellow Swede of mine and it is Jenny Elisabeth or Jenny. Okay, this Swedish names is hard. Her name is Jenny and I will of course leave her up here and down in the description as well. And I, me and Jenny, we have talked for quite a while. Um, she had her YouTube channel in Swedish before but she has gone over to English after having a break. So she is like new to YouTube in English and I know how hard it could be and I think it's so fun that she's back and she asked me if I wanted to do a collab with her and I was like of course. So we are doing a face up with a poison garden from Nabla. I haven't used this much on my channel at all. I wanted to use it more and I asked Jenny if she wanted to do a face off and then I asked do you want to do the poison garden from Nabla and she was just like yes I want to. So. We have used four shades with random.org and the shades we got, I have to just double check, was Fabric, Berry Bite, Craving and Narrative. So it's these four shades and it's two shimmers as you can see but I think, I think I know what I want to do. So I will just get started with this makeup and zoom you in. Okay, so I will start with narrative. This one, put it in my crease and it feels like, like every palette bingo I do. I always get like one shade that I'm like, why? So I like always take the easy way out and just put it in my crease. And Jen, Jen, it's hard. Jenny in Swedish. Jenny in English. Um, she also has a blog and a Instagram that is like her main focus. So I will leave them down in the description as well. If you want to check them out. Her blog is in Swedish but I think she has one of these translator things on our blogs you can translate it to English if you want to and I have gotten so many recommendations especially for skincare from Jenny she writes a lot about skincare on her blog and I liked everything <laughs> She has like talked good about, especially one face mask from Pixie, their peel and polish. And also Jenny, she is goth, has a gothic clothing style and I did a style tag and I talked a little bit about that I like, like the gothic clothing and the style. But I have never like thought it is <laughs> something for me. But I really like her style and I have gotten some inspiration and that is fun. So okay, now I am not like completely sure what I want to do. I want to take Berry Bite, Berry Bite and Craving on my lid I think. But also this fabric. Okay, I think I will take Berry Bite on like the most of my lid and this palette was, it was so many people that hated it. I don't love it but I don't hate it. It isn't a bad palette but it isn't a great palette. It felt like people were just hopping on the bashing train. The one thing it isn't, I have the other palette from Nabla and this has not the same quality as the other ones. I don't know how it is with the secret 
palette. I can never remember if it's secret palette or secret garden. I think it's secret palette. I don't know how that is, but I have heard that that one is better than this poison garden. And sometimes I feel it's hard with palettes. Of course, there will be some palettes that aren't as good as the other ones. I think that's like with every palette there is. It is maybe one small batch or maybe some palettes that aren't as good as the other ones that like came out the quality check that wasn't supposed to. But with this Poison Garden it feels like people either there were super many bad palettes or people just wanted to get on the hate train. Like with the subculture. It felt, I love subculture from Anastasia, but it feels like some people is just like, okay, it's popular to hate it, so I'm going to hate it. Okay, so this is the berry bite. I'm thinking, I like can never decide what I want to do, but I think I know. I will do a half cut crease. Do, should I have done a halo? Maybe I should have done a halo. It's a little bit late for doing a halo. I do a cut crease, a half cut crease. I'm going to take my NYX glitter glue. Okay, and then I'm going to take fabric, this one, and put it where I put the glitter glue. And this is like one of these shades. I don't know if it is super light or not. This fabric. So I go in with Berry Bite and now we will see how this works. Just to fix the edge a little bit. Okay, I like to put the berry bite over this, so I'm just going in here. Maybe that was not a good idea. Okay, I think we just have to go like this. So I will do the same on the other eye. I will cut this crease as well. I don't need to do that on camera. And I will try to get the eyes equally. Then I will do my base and my brows and then I come back. And we'll do the under eyes and we have one shade left, this shimmery purple that is craving. And now I put the brush on my boob. Okay, so I will do the same on this eye and fix my base and my brows and then I'll come back and we fix the under eyes together. Okay, so I am back and I'm going to do my lower lash and I think I just will try to take craving I don't know how this will go because this is a shimmer and some shimmers doesn't work on your lower lash but I will try tap it off and then just and this works maybe it isn't that like shimmery but see it shimmer a little so something like that and I also think I will go in with fabric the one I have on my lid and put it in my inner corner just a little bit and I not spray this so and for my waterline I think I'll take piggy bank from Colourpop it is a purple. I will just go in with mascara, mas mascara, mascara, mascara and take something on my lips. I'm thinking about taking this one from Menagerie Cosmetics that I don't know the name because the little sticker on it has fallen off. I think this maybe is like too red. 
because I wanted something like berry or plummy to match the berry bite. I will see, maybe this one or I try to figure out something else for my lips. So I will just fix that and then I will come back with the finished face off look. So this is the finished look for my lips. I used this one. I don't know the name. I will put it down in the description. I maybe should just put a new sticker on it so I know the name of it. Should do that, yes. I am happy with this look. Maybe it isn't what I would have choose if I was just going to do a look with this palette, but I'm okay with it. This, what's it called? Craving? Yeah. This purple shimmer worked really good on my lower lash. I, I like that. Not all shimmers work to put on your lower lash because they don't like blend that good. But this do. It was so fun to use this palette more and it was so fun to collab with you, Jenny. Don't forget to check her out, give her your support, say hello from me. And yeah, that's all I'm going to say, I think. I I am so lost right now in my head. I don't know why. Oh. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!